Timna Valley in Israel's southern Negev district is not only a geological phenomenon, but also a fruitful source of long-lasting archaeological research. For the past 10 years, Professor Erez Ben Yosef of Tel Aviv University has been digging here with his crew, trying to find answers to one of the most interesting questions in the region. One thing about Timna, which is different than most ar other archaeological sites, is that it's uh, kilometers and kilometers. So we have uh, maybe hundreds of sites, possibly. Uh, but the, of course, the, the uh, preservation here in terms of metalworking and stuff is uh, extremely good. Timna is known worldwide as one of the most important places to learn about the history of copper production in ancient time. One of the most provocative questions here is the identification of the site with the biblical King Solomon's mine. Early excavations in the site linked Timna with the famous biblical king, but later the site was associated with ancient Egypt. Professor Ben Yosef has some insights on the discussion. We have good evidence, radiocarbon dates and other evidence that show that this is, this is, this is very much possible that this was indeed the source of wealth of the early Israelites, the copper mines of Timna. Now a lot of these narratives in the Bible m make sense. This year, the research includes other fields of study. Some even deal with global warming. For the biologists, it will be very interesting to see what is the microbiome of these animals and how it compares to the current microbiome of ruminants in uh, in, in the current agricultural world, it's very interesting because it is a ma uh, this microbiome is a major contributor to the global warming. And if we can see how fast they change, what is the difference between today and 3,000 years ago? Some of the items, such as the ancient fabrics found here, will be on display at the visitor center. Meanwhile, Professor Ben Yosef and his crew continue to excavate and research this fascinating site, which may shed light not only on copper production, but also on the history of the Holy Land.